I believe strongly, I believe passionately, and I believe this as a second generation American, as the son of immigrants who, were, who came to this country from China via Taiwan. I believe deeply that right now, more than ever, we need to have a new movement in this country to Americanize Americans. Now, I say that word right now, and I know some of you sitting in the audience, some of you watching on television, hackles have gone up already. Because that word Americanize sound, has connotations. It sounds like the Americanization movement of 100, 120 years ago, where there was this kind of one size fits all, or what I call wasp size fits all uh, approach to the way to become American is to be like these white guys over here. And since you're not white, I guess you don't get to be fully American in any cultural sense. And that spirit of Americanization, which was, which was narrow uh, and restrictive and not nearly as encompassing of the diversity that in fact is the United States, that was Americanization 100, 120 years ago. But just because a thing was implemented poorly one time does not absolve us of the responsibility to implement it well in our own time. And I believe deeply that in our own time, we need to have a true 21st century approach to re-Americanizing America. And to me, what this means is not rah, rah, America's great, my country right or wrong. What this means is reinstilling in all of us an appreciation of the values that constitute American identity. The values. One of the things that we all know, but again, we rarely say aloud to one another and refresh and renew our awareness of, is that this is a country not based on blood, not based on tribe, not based on religion, not based on soil. This is a country based completely on an idea. And what is exceptional about this country, what has been exceptional from the very start, is that we are a nation dedicated to a proposition. And to me, true Americanization means recommitting ourselves to that proposition.